All right, guys, today we're getting prepared for a lab that we are going to do in class tomorrow. Your job tonight will be to watch this video and make sure that you're paying real close attention to the instructions, even though every instruction that I give you is listed here in your book at some place or another on the following pages. But let's go through it so that you know what you're doing so you can walk right into class and get right to business. First, we're going to come in and you need to have these materials. As it says on your, on your flip chart here, you're going to need your origami weather predicting sheet, which is actually found right here on page 19 in your textbook. You need a pair of scissors, which I have here. The buckets should probably be on your table. That way everyone will have scissors. Make sure you have your pencil out and make sure that you get one of the weather sheets, either from the substitute or just from the table that's over by the door. Now, once you have all your materials, you can get started with your partner. Your lab partner is going to be the person that's sitting next to you. Start with setting a purpose. What will you learn from this investigation? Well, if you have no idea what this investigation is about, let's look at the chart here and see what we're gonna be doing. It says, scientists learn about the natural world by making observations and performing investigations. In this activity, you'll compare predictions made with and without using scientific evidence. So what purpose do you think we're doing this for? What are you going to learn from that? So you and your partner discuss what you think those words meant on the flip chart. After you're done with that, remember it's got to be complete sentence. They give you lots of lines there. Think about your procedure. How did you choose what predictions to write on your origami predictor? Well, before we do this, we need to do what's on the flip chart. That way we know what predictions we made and how we cho chose them. So let's look at the, let's look at the uh, chart over here. It says, number one, tear out the origami weather predictor. Remembering what I taught you yesterday, put your thumb on the number two and rip it, rip it, rip it. That way this comes out cleanly and you don't tear it in half. We need to cut it out on the dotted line. All the way around. We want to make sure it's nice and neat. If you'll notice, there's lots of little colored half circles. Those are going to come in very handy when we read our instructions on the back of this paper. I hope tonight your parents are watching with you since this is our first investigation and our first episode of our flipped classroom. I'm really hoping that your parents are sitting there watching too. It'd be exciting for them to know what you guys are doing before you guys do it. I'm going to rip these little sides off because I still need this paper. As you can see, it has directions on how to cut this out and then on the back it has directions on how to fold it properly. Let's go back to, I'm going to move this for now. Let's go back to this. It says, tear it out, think about the weather of where you live. Write eight different weather predictions. One prediction might be sunny, windy, and hot. Now what I did was, I just chose one word for each one of these. If you guys want to do a couple words, you can do that too. So storms and cold, rain and warm. So like a way, a, way, a piece of weather and maybe a temperature to go with it, okay? Once you have all eight, then we're gonna look at number two. Fold the directions to, uh, follow the directions to make the origami weather predictor. Well, here are our directions. It says, fold the blue dots into the blue circle. So there's blue dots and a blue circle. So I'm gonna fold them into that on this dotted line. One, two, three, and four. Okay, turn the paper over, okay? Oh, look, green dots. Fold the green dots into the green circle. And again, you see a dotted line for each of them. Two, 
three, four. And you'll notice that they're not perfect. And that's okay, because when I cut it out, the printing was a little different. So don't worry about that if it doesn't work out exactly right. Now, with this way, this this way, fold the paper in half so the yellow dots touch each other. There's yellow dots, there's yellow dots. So I'm gonna fold it in half so the yellow dots touch each other. And uh, make a crease, like I did, and unfold the paper, okay? Now fold it in half again so that the pink dots touch each other. Pink dots, pink dots. Make a crease, okay? Now it says, put your fingers under the colorful squares. So here and here, here and here, and with your group, make a plan to use this tool to predict weather. Then you just, when you got your fingers on it, fold it together. You got your little uh, weather predictor here, okay? It opens two different directions, okay? So now you gotta make a plan, it says, with your team to figure out how you're gonna use this. You got weather, sunny, prediction, and forecast. One way you can do that is someone chooses one and then you count out the letters. And as you count or say the letters, you do this. So if somebody said weather, I'd be W E A T H E R. Then they pick a number. When they pick the number, let's say one, you lift it up, it says rain warm. Okay? So Go back to your book, think about your procedure. How did you choose to write those down? Well, the way I chose is I, I took the ones from the flip chart and I wrote them on different ones. Then I decided, because Mr. King told me to, that I should do a temperature and a, way, a piece of weather. So that's how I predicted. Now with your partner, you get to do some of the recording your data. To do this, number three over here on the flip chart says, Use the origami predictor to forecast or predict the weather for the next week. We're only going to do four. You don't have to fill up the whole chart. We're just going to do the date for four different days, including today, Tuesday, August 28th. Then August 29th, August 30, and August 31. That'll go throughout Friday for this week. Do it like I just showed you. Make the flips. And when you pull it open, that's day one origami prediction write it down close it up and then use your partners origami so like on the first one if I used my origami me and my partner we're both gonna write down my first choice which was rain warm then we're gonna use my partners origami predictor and we're gonna see what they came up with and we're both gonna write it down okay so find four of those then it says then find the forecast made by a scientist. Well, this little sheet here was taken from weather.com and they are scientists that find the weather. Then we write these down. Weather service prediction. And we write them down. Tuesday. Tuesday we write it down. Uh, sunny was their prediction. High of 85. Wednesday. Write it down. Thursday, write it down. Friday, write it down. Over the rest of this week, every day when we come in, we're gonna write down what the actual weather was. So for Tuesday, you can write the actual weather. Look outside, check out the real weather, and say if it was warm or not. Then turn the page. Drawing conclusions. Of the two kinds of weather predictions, which one was more likely to be correct. Go through these and try to analyze as many as you can. Some of these may, you may be unable to figure out because you have to wait until the whole week is done. But I think you can do most of these uh, by predictions and making what results do you think you would get if you continued your investigation for a whole month with both the weather thing and on online weather stuff. So I think you can do this whole page with your partner. You want to try to get it done by the, uh, by the end of class so that we don't have to do anything for homework. But don't rip it out because for the rest of the week, we're going to put the actual weather and see how close it actually came. If you have any questions, uh, ask the teacher when you come into class. They will be walking around to help you. Or ask your partner 
because maybe they can help you as well. Well, thank you for following along. I hope when you walk into class tomorrow that you know exactly what you can get started on.